people talk to me about my vocals. They're like, yeah, I, I like your vocals. I think, I think they're really dope. I was like, but I don't think they're dope, but you know what? Maybe that's okay because I will always be super critical of myself. Other people may just enjoy it for what it is. And sometimes we forget to get out of our own head and just accept the fact that it is what it is. And you know what? I feel more proud of it, letting go of that, because now I can say this has been my stamp, my own sound, yeah. <laughs> which is, of course, what we're after here in Metal Master. That's what we're after. Creating our own sound and not having to sound like somebody else, right? Yeah. So you just have to grow comfortable with that. And, you know, the uncomfortable aspect is acceptance and moving forward and always challenging and pushing yourself. We do pride ourselves at Metal Mastermind uh, on creating your own sound. That's been our our new tag. We've always believed that, but that's you, you hear at the end of our YouTube videos and podcasts, we always say create your own sound. Why would you want to sound like someone else? Why? Why do you want to sound like another singer? Why Why do I need to, to shred like this other guitar player over here or play the same arpeggios? Why? It's already done. If you just replicate what somebody else is doing well that's not really original you know and if you're if you happen to sound like somebody else and that's just what naturally comes out well that's a different story but it, it's it's going to have differences it's not going to sound like the other band or artist so you know can i applaud you for doing your own vocals and i, I get it um there are vocalists you know i'm a i never really considered myself a singer but i guess i am because I, I sing two and three nights a week now playing solo gigs and of course recording vocals on my album um uh, but, you know, I would love to have the voice like Sebastian Bach or David Coverdale. I would love some of those vocals. You know what I mean? I don't have it, though. I don't sound anything like those guys. I don't have the range. But you know what? If two things. It's OK because they already sound like them. They don't need a replica. Right. Steve Perry doesn't need a replica uh, unless you're going to play in a cover band or something like that. OK, different story. But that's not what we're about. We're about writing your own music and producing your own creative sound. Right. So you want to be original. Don't worry about so much if you sound like this person or if you don't sound like this person or if you have that guitar tone, right? Because we always want to like, well, I want that tone right there. How did you dial that in? Don't worry about it. Dial your own tone in. Find your own sound. Now, at the same time, also push yourself to get better. I I do vocal exercises. This is something that's, uh, that's really close to the heart right now because I'm working on it every day. I do vocal warm-ups and exercises every day uh, from Elizabeth's course, Ken. You know, we have the... Uh, we have her course, um, Metal Vocal Virtuoso. I love her her warm ups. I do them every single day, especially before shows. So you know, don't use and I kind of want to back up here. Don't use not sounding like someone else as an excuse not to get better, not to practice. You need to practice, but as you work on things, you will naturally develop your own sounds. So I, I just want to make those two points of the conversation here because those are, I think, those are two strong points you guys can can take home with. Yeah, and if you can't do something, you can always hire somebody to do that. <laughs> that's that's a big part of being an indie musician too. And you'd be surprised how many of those artists that you idolize might be available for services. Yeah. So if you want Sebastian Bach, like you can probably get Sebastian Bach by just hiring the guy. <laughs> so we want to be conscious that all of our efforts are directed towards the things that we can control because everything that you do for your own music and all the intention that you put forth in that, yeah. right? If there's something outside of that, that you're just like, you're not adept to be able to do seek help, right? That's why I talked about the mastering in the beginning of this episode, because that is something, yes, I can master, but I will not master my own stuff because in order to master something, you have to be objective about the thing that you're listening to. It's the final stage of audio production. You have to make sure that somebody can listen to this thing and point out the faults in it that you are obviously too biased to notice. <laughs> so that's something that we want to kind of keep in the back of our minds going forward. Is this something that I should do myself or is this something that would be better suited to delegate to somebody else? And if you have that intention of being, okay, I need to delegate to somebody else, right? You have to be serious that you're going to probably spend some money on them. 
And if this is something that you feel in your heart that you have to do, you have to be okay with that. You're investing in your music and your music, right? It has return by means of supporting somebody emotionally on the other side, could be financial return in the future. These sort of long-term things that we've been talking about, it's not going to be an immediate thing. You're going to see this as something that grows over time. And you're talking about legacy, right? You want to establish something that you're proud of that you will look back on in the future and say, yes, I did that. I have no problem showing that I've done that. You know, I can live with myself doing it because I, I took all the time in the world to make it happen the way I want it to happen. And I also learned so much about myself in the process. I grew as a person. I grew as an artist. And I also, as an indie musician, can be so proud that I've released it myself. I've released it to the world in a way that I can have, uh, you know, complete ownership of my own music, which a lot of people back in the day couldn't say for themselves. Be sure to listen to the entire podcast on metalmastermind.com. You can just click on podcast there or go to Spotify or Google Play. There are links in the description of this video. I want to say thank you so much for supporting and being a part of Metal Mastermind. And hey, drop us a comment if you have some things that you would like for us to cover in future podcasts. We'll see you on the next show. And remember, create your own sound and style.